when you start clicker training your horse, ideally you would start in protected contact. It's very difficult to learn something and teach something at the same time. So while you're working out your food delivery mechanics and where your treat pouch is and getting the food out of the treat pouch and your timing, how to use the clicker, which hand is best to put things in, um, you don't want to have to be worrying about what your horse is doing. So having a barrier between you and your horse will help reduce your horse's behavioral options and give you more time to be able to sort out your part of the training. If your horse is fast and eats the food really quickly, grabby, and you need more time to between repetitions to be able to sort out what you're supposed to be doing, you can feed your horse in a bucket. So a nice big handful dropped in a bucket will give you a little bit of time between repetitions to figure out what you're supposed to be doing and how you want to do it. So your horse will be uh, taking their time eating out of the bucket and you can be thinking about what you're going to click for next and how you're going to reinforce. Protected contact doesn't have to be elaborate. Uh, as you saw, what I was using before was just a jump. Um, this here is just a couple of barrels that I grabbed and laid end to end. It's just to give some definition for your horse, a little bit of a separation so that they're not right on top of you. If you do not have a way to set up protected contact, or if you really just don't want to start in protected contact, that's okay too. You can start in free contact. It's just a lot easier for your horse if you start with a barrier between you. And one of the things that we really try to do with this type of training is set our horses up for success. So to make it easier for your horse and easier for yourself, but mostly to make it easier for your horse, it's best to start in protected contact. If you are struggling to introduce positive reinforcement training to your horse and you need extra help, I do offer video call coaching you can visit my website at www.essentialequinetraining.com and schedule a free consultation there and I will be happy to help you get started.